Hey guys, so Hasbro stock is doing pretty well. They're, they've, I mean, double digit rise is definitely not something to scoff at. Uh, but today I'm going to talk about the reserve list and why I'm still a big believer of that. So the reserve list, I think, is the only thing investable in Magic the Gathering. I really, really do not believe that uh, there is too much other investable assets in it. Now, the reserve list, I would split up into different um, places. I, I think dual lands or where is that? Everything I've seen indicates, you know, max quantity, 25, 570, buy list all day from Card Kingdom, that this is actually a very intriguing asset. I didn't, no, I think my mistake was I assumed all Magic the Gathering was investable in some degree, and it's not. Seal boxes, again, maybe they're for you. They're just not, simply not for me. I think a lot of times people will, I mean, the space is a huge, huge issue. Uh, space, you know, as you grow older, you realize your space does have value to it. And if you put something in storage, then you're just paying a lot of money to have that in storage. Again, another really interesting thing that I will say about Magic the Gathering cards it's, it's an interesting, it's a diversification of your assets. I'm not saying put more than 10 or 15% in what I would see alternative assets. People put money in crypto. I view that as more risky than the reserve list. I'm getting a little bit of hate because I think a lot of people who are poor, they don't think, how can I get rich? They just are angry at everyone who is richer than they are. So I see these comments in my video, Dual Lands is the only magic investment. I think we'll make some more of them. There's a video I've done a lot better than I originally thought because um, originally they were not really meant to, they're kind of just like, you know, I have filler content, right? So it's like filler content, but they've done really well and they've created this debate of, oh, hey, I'm gonna do this and they're gonna reprint this and they're gonna, you know, make stronger cards in this. I don't really care. I mean, the proxy stuff, like, I don't really care because that's not the groups I talk to, right? I'm not hanging out with a dude who is, you know, waiting for them to be reprinted. My play group is their business owners, their multimillionaires like myself. Um, so instead of, and then this is a mentality that I can, um, I can try to have you, but the majority of you won't get it. Maybe maybe the one one of you will get it is when people are wealthier, more intelligent. When, when somebody has, let's say you take a, a, a let's just very ex simple example. You, you go to class, you guys are in the same class, you take a math test, somebody gets a 98, you get a 68. Well, instead of being angry at everyone who got, you know, a better grade than you, what you really need to do is you need to approach the guy who got a 98 and say, hey, you know, is it, you know, here's some bubble tea. Do you mind if you tutor me a little bit? Do you mind? That's how people get ahead in life. And I think um, an honest discussion, I know we're going to look at the reserve list, but an honest discussion on this is people really, they trap themselves into this little box because they don't understand that, like, what you need to do is, and I've had this discussion with my interns all the time. We're going to probably have some summer interns. We're doing summer intern interviews for my agency. When I started my marketing agency, I wanted to learn from people who had successful marketing agencies. So I white labeled for them, which means like I did their work. I did their work at a very good cost. I probably had a deal just so I could work and learn their business from them. And I got to work and I, I specifically did this to work with marketing agencies that in Houston that were more way more successful than I can imagine. And I learned from them, directly from them. Of course they get mad and a little snippy and stuff, but like that that all was a really great like some of the best learning experiences I've ever had was from people much more successful than me. So in terms of like everyone getting mad, I have all these dual lands. Um why don't you ask me like how did I get them? They make up less than, I was telling my girlfriend this, uh, she's pregnant now, they make up, she wants me to sell them, but I'm telling her like, it, it doesn't matter. They make up less than 10% of my portfolio. Like, 
$200,000 of dual lands makes up very little of my portfolio of investment. Sometimes I show you my portfolio here, right? I mean, I'm very open about it. That's not my actual 401k. My 401k is with my old law firm. That's just the money I play with. You know, instead of like going to the casino, I buy some S&P 500. So I'm bu buying some MetaZoo, I buy some S&P 500. And I think this is like the uh, MetaZoo mentality as well. They don't get it. They don't really understand. Like, I, I'm open to helping people. I'm open to explaining, okay, this is why I invest. And I have been open. And it should be really obvious that I'm honest about it. I don't want to sell you anything. Okay, I'm not Alpha Investment selling you MetaZoo promos of himself for hundreds of dollars or um, flesh and blood promos of himself for thousands. I have nothing to sell you. I'm doing it because I like to do it. I like to do you do. I have my other channel. My other channel makes money. This channel makes a zero dollars almost. It makes so little money that like I was talking about in my other channel, Lust, like because of the RPM and the way that works, a lot of law firms advertise on that channel, especially the patent stuff. And they pay like ridiculous amounts of money to get the commercial in front. No, nobody paying any amount of money. Maybe Taco Bell paying like one penny, less than a penny, right? A penny for every thousand views, right? I get. Uh, ain't nobody making no money from Magic the Gathering compared to a law firm channel where the RPM uh, is much, much, the rate per thousand views is much higher. All right, now let me get back to um, uh, this uh, debate. And I, I really want. If I can help one person in the comments, like, I really want you guys to understand this. People don't become wealthy by hating other wealthy people. You might be like, oh, well, what about uh, Meta, what about Metazoo and Alpha? Because he's targeting unwealthy, uneducated Timmies. He's targeting he's targeting people who are not they don't have friends in their lives to tell them, hey, this Metazoo thing is a scam, guys. Don't buy it, right? Like all my friends think MetaZoo's a joke. Like, I showed them MetaZoo, and they're like, oh, this is like some warped version of Pokemon, right? He's like, yeah, pretty much. I mean, yeah, man. Um, like, you have to understand that you are who your friends are, right? If everyone around you is playing with proxies, and, and that's great fun. You know, when I was younger, and I didn't have family support, and I didn't have any of that stuff, it, it's great fun, right? But when you're wealthier, you do want to obtain more wealth, and you surround yourself, I surround myself with other lawyers, doctors, other business owners. And we don't have the same discussions that you guys have. At, when, when you're talking about, oh, this, and I hate you because you bought this, you're killing the game. Instead of saying, like, how do I get more dual lands? You say, oh, I would never want that. No, you do. You're, you're just, you do. Everyone wants it. And you just can't admit that you want it because you don't have it. Right? It, it's like, what was that? They hate us because they ain't us? Right? Is it, What was that from uh, James Franco? Who went to NYU? He's an alum. We're alums together. Um, you hate us because you ain't us, right? But why don't you learn how to like get by a dual land? How to flip cards? How to make money from this game? You won't, but hey, maybe for the one or two of you that will listen to Wake Up Call.